in this video, we are going to have a brief overview of the integration rules that we're going to need to know in order to tackle an IB maths exam. So these are all of the integration rules uh, that are given to you in your formula booklet, and we need to know how to apply them uh, in any question, and we do need to know all of them uh, because these do all appear in a, in a common set of exams. So uh, let's try and familiarize ourselves with them all. So this top rule here, this is just if we want to integrate a polynomial and we just raise the power by one and divide by the new power. So if we're, for example, integrating 3x squared plus 4x plus one in terms of x, that's when you'll see this dx here, we just raise the power by one, 3x cubed, we divide by the new power and we continue on. So we 4x now squared over two and then if we're integrating a constant, we just attach an x to it. And then we always have our plus c if it's an indefinite integral question where there are no limits on the top and bottom. Okay, now these ones can uh, normally be simplified. So the threes can cancel out. So it'll be x cubed and then 2x squared plus x plus c. Okay, so hopefully we are familiar with our uh, basic integration law there. Uh, the second one, this does appear uh, very frequently. If we're integrating a one on x function or, or something that looks a little bit like that, uh, we need to uh, know how to apply this to a question where there might be two terms on the bottom. So if we're integrating, for example, three over two x minus one dx, let's have a look at our equation here. It says it became an ln x plus c. So if we have a three on the top, this actually stays out the front. Our ln function will now have 2x minus 1 in here. And we need to divide our answer, just like they did here, by the derivative of the denominator. Now, the derivative of x is 1, which is why they didn't put the divider by 1. But we would have to divide ours by 2, as the derivative of our denominator was 2. And then we would have plus c. Okay. Now, with our sine and cos, if we're integrating, we need to remember our sine cos uh, circle here. So if we have sine cos negative sine negative cos, if we go clockwise, we are deriving. And if we go anti-clockwise, we are integrating. So that's why the integral of sine x is negative cos x and the integral of cos x goes to sin x. So let's remember our, our circle here. If we are integrating, let's say, four uh, cos of two x dx. So there's a, there's a coefficient at the front now of four and there's two x in, in our cos term. The four stays out the front. Cos integrates to sin x, so sine and this be the 2x stays here, and we need to divide our answer by the derivative of what was our term inside of our cos. So the derivative of 2x is 2 plus c, and therefore it'll become 2 sine 2x plus c. Okay, so let's remember our rules there. And the x, e to the x, this is a common one. If we have e, let's say, to the 5x dx, the integral of an exponential function is just e to the 5x, and we divide this by the derivative uh, of our power. So if we're integrating e to the 5x, it'll be e to the 5x over 5 plus c. Now these last three, they aren't uh, as commonly asked as the, the top five here. So do familiarize yourself with these, but uh, these only appear maybe one in every four exams. So this is just something, if you come across this in an exam, just remember, I do have my formula booklet. Let's see if I can uh, remember how to use these ones. But they aren't uh, as commonly found as these top five. But this is if we're integrating uh, any number a to the power of x, we use this answer here. Uh, if we have the integral of one on something squared plus something squared, it's going to be uh, this integral here, the arc tan, and then we have the arc sine. Now, just before we finish up, uh, we do have a few more uh, handy tools in our formula booklet, and I wanted to just show you, if we remember our differentiation rules, 
sometimes these come in handy because we know uh, if we have some function and we have the derivative, the integral of this is this. So you might get stuck with a question in your exam where we need to integrate, for example, sec x multiplied by tan x. And you might be thinking, oh, oh that integral isn't in my formula booklet. How am I supposed to know that? Uh, but we, it's actually in the differentiation section because we know uh, sec, sec of x uh, derives to sec x tan x, so this would integrate to this. So if you see any of these uh, functions on the right-hand side, the integral will be uh, the left-hand side. So just keep that in mind. Uh, for example, you might get uh, this one here, and you need to integrate this in your exam, and if you are... Uh, comfortable with your formula booklet, you know that the integral would have just been uh, cot of x. Okay, so there are no shortcuts to our integration rules. We are going to need to learn all of them, and, and I highly suggest you practice a big unit in your textbook. Okay, good luck.